So this is uh, part two of the series of uh, video tutorials that I prepared for physical asset condition inspection mapping tool using QField. So last time we have created or made a duplicate of the master copy of the QGS project that we use for the uh, for creating the tool for the physical asset condition mapping. So we created a duplicate copy so uh, you'll be able to create another package file for your own use and that so that also you will know how the steps on how to create one. So now we have here, we don't really need to modify the, co the symbology the sizes of the labels of everything here because they were made or they were configured in a way that when you load them on your handheld devices the labels and the lines are not big and small too small that it will uh, cover the display of your smartphone meaning the sizes of these labels though it looks small here and those lines are just enough so that it will be easy for you to navigate and see them on your smartphone so we don't need to really modify them okay so let's start by uh, because last time we removed some of the layers that uh, uh, are important for creating a QField package so now for now we'll start creating some shape files and these shape files comes in three forms and so that they will represent any feature on the ground or any asset on the ground so these are the point layer the line layer and the polygon layer so we'll create those three layers that will represent any feature on the ground that we will be collecting later on. So to do that, let's go to layer and uh, select create layer and then new shape file. Uh, when you do that, uh, this window will appear. Uh, the first thing that you need to know is you need to make sure that this one, this is what we call the CRS or coordinate reference system is the same with what you have on your QGIS project. So it says here 32751, this is a new TM. This needs to be also a new TM. So we'll select this one. Okay, that's it, 32751. So the first thing that we'll create is what? It's a point layer. And then we'll give it a name. So click here, browse for the Okay, so automatically it will bring you to this folder. If not, you need you need just to navigate to that folder. And then go to this subfolder, QF datasets, and then give it a name. So we give it a name as let's say my point one. We'll give it a, a numeric number one point one because this will be this will not be our final data set so this is just a draft data set save so we'll save it and then uh, this is a field list this window is where you will see the field list or the columns of the rows of your of your database or your data set so we'll this is automatically added because usually the id becomes the primary key of your database but we'll add one more column or field list field let's just call it date and this is the date where you will be creating your project so date and then add it as one of the field lists. so you have ID and date and then click OK so that particular layer will be added there okay we can move it up by dragging that particular layer so if you collapse this folder you have data sets you will see it there also my point one ship okay that one so you if you want to see the attribute table the table for this one you just right click 
and then select open attribute table there you go you have id and date so close this one and then let's continue let's add the other to the line and the polygon so let's do that layer add layer i oh, know create layer new uh, shape file we'll create line stream change the crs to this one we'll save it as my line one save it and then let's add the date okay here we go and then let's add another one for polygon uh, we select polygon change the crs to utm utm so that you can measure length and area so let's give it a name my poly one save and then again let's add date and then change this one the type to date and then add to the list and then click ok so all these three have uh, the same attribute table this one is for your polygon ID and date we have also one for your line feature again ID and date and then for your point yes you have also id and date okay it disappears on my screen but you can actually get them back so they're all the same so the next thing after creating these layers we need to provide this one with a first row where you can you need to put a value here one for each of them one 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 so that we can attach add columns here you can actually add columns used through QJS but uh, we'll do that in Excel okay so first we need to add each uh, we need to add a, a row here so to do that we click this pencil click that one and then once you click that one you are now on editing you are actually on editing mode okay but uh, one way of doing it is like I'll close this one first and close this three and then example for polygon it's the same here toggle editing and then you will add a polygon anyway this is just uh, a preliminary so when you right click on that one this window will appear so you have the ID and date we'll just put one here and then okay and then we'll do it for the line also line click one two three four and then right click so we'll put up one okay so that particular data set don't have the date here okay okay so we'll open the attribute table so it doesn't have the date so we'll add it through here uh, here you can add a new field so we'll put here date and that will be date here okay so there you go you have the date here save it then close this one we'll do it also for the point layer a little point anywhere and then we'll have it one okay so all all of these layers have the following information one okay for line it has one for point it has one okay then save disable you go to line disable that one for poly disable for that one anyway we will erase that one later on what is important is now you are able to create these three layers through this function layer create and do select shape file so for now this ends uh, part two of the series of tutorial for physical asset condition inspection mapping for q field see you on the next video if you have any question on this video you can 
write a comment below and please do subscribe and like this channel bye then